The PlayStation 1 all began back in 1995 in the US and Europe, which brought classics like the Tekken series and the Gran Turismo titles to gamers. Some of the titles on the PS1 remain some of the best well-known releases to have ever been released. With the PlayStation series moving forward and remaining at the top for almost three decades, we thought this would be a great time to take a look back as to where it all began, looking at the top 10 best games that were released on the PS1 according to Metacritic. But of course, just before we do go into the video, if you do like this type of content and you would like to see some more top 10 videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like this video. And with all that that said, let's just get straight into it. These are the top 10 best games to have ever been released for the PS1. Number 10, Wipeout XL. Wipeout XL is a game that many fans would like to get remastered, having taken the world by storm upon its release. The title is a futuristic racing game that features hover cars moving like bullet trains in a high octane environment with cyberpunk elements. Wipeout XL was a game way ahead of its time because of its gameplay elements that took over a decade to be a commonplace in the industry. Its use of futuristic styles and presentation along with crisp graphics were widely acclaimed and unparalleled when it came to the racing genre. Number 9, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Although that this game was released previously on a Sega platform, Castlevania Symphony of the Night became known as one of the best games to have ever been released, and still finds its place among some of the best games that the PlayStation had to offer as well. This game was lauded for blending horror elements with action adventure, as the side-scrolling title has a gothic anesthetic that sells the danger of the atmosphere. The stem of the praise though was for the fact that the game allowed players to roam freely, which was a gameplay element that few titles offered at the time. Number 8, Street Fighter Alpha 3. This game was a hard-hitting entry in the series that many weren't prepared for, but were delightfully surprised by. Still ranked among some of the best Street Fighter games, it was well received for delivering a complete entertaining experience with an intensive roster of multiple fighting styles. Players could choose how they wanted a particular character to fight, empowering them to play according to their own tactics. Street Fighter 3 Alpha was released at a time where the fighting genre was becoming more and more creative, with this title still holding its place within the gaming history. Number 7, Gran Turismo 2. A lot of people these days still search for games similar to Gran Turismo because of the entertainment value the racing series offers. This game continued the franchise's critical success by bringing back some of the main aspects that made the first one so great. While there wasn't too much in terms of innovation, the reviewers were impressed with its consistency. That felt unlike any other in the present genre. This game's main appeal is that it paid very close attention with how cars actually drive. Number 6, Metal Gear Solid. The stealth genre was primarily on the back of the Metal Gear series, but it wasn't until Metal Gear Solid that it incorporated genuine third-person gameplay elements. Metal Gear Solid was revolutionary for a sneak em up style that focused primarily on stealth over action. Another major plus point was Metal Gear Solid's story, which emotionally connected audience to Solid Snake's journey. It ultimately set the stage for multiple entries in the series to follow, with the debut title credited for influencing the stealth genre, as many other games were later released to emulate the success of Metal Gear Solid. Number 5, Chrono Cross. The role-playing game genre had plenty of entries on the PlayStation, but Chrono Cross was lauded for offering different realms for players to check out. The game is set during the divergence of two worlds, and the protagonist can travel within them in completely different environments. The turn-based battle system was an exhilarating experience due to the presence of trump card moves that could turn the tide heavily in the player's favor. Chrono Cross was a far less complicated game than its predecessor, Chrono Trigger, which was much more user-friendly for the newer fans. Number 4, Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX is usually overshadowed by the success of Final Fantasy VII, yet it's the former title that receives the better reviews. The game placed emphasis on exploration, with the world of Gaia free to explore through the control of many main characters. Reviewers highlighted how each character had a unique moveset that allowed the gameplay to feel fresh each time around. The story is a lot more humorous than the previous Final Fantasy titles, and such a light-hearted affair opens up breezy playthroughs without getting bogged down by dramatic elements. Number 3, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo took the world by storm upon its release, and is generally considered to be one of the best games to have ever been released. This game was seen as the complete package for offering more than 100 cars in distinct environments without ever feeling cartoonish or gimmicky. Gran Turismo's soundtrack and graphics were praised at the time for blending perfectly with the gameplay, as every track had a unique feel. The AI was remarkably sharp for its time, enabling racers to feel like the real deal, and presenting players with a significant challenge in each playthrough. 
Number 2. Tekken 3 The Tekken series took a giant leap in quality with Tekken 3, featuring larger-than-life characters and hard-hitting action. The introduction of characters like Jin Kazama, Horung, Lin Xiaoyu, Eddie Gordo, and more changed the series for years to come, with every player having their own fighting styles. The revamped roster and new elements, like sidestepping through a 3D environment, offered a fighting platform that few had experienced before. Tekken 3 remains one of the best-received entries in the series, and by far has seen its peak for the franchise that very few other titles in the genre have been able to match. Number 1. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 The Tony Hawk series hasn't been great for a long time now, but Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 remains in a league of its own. Featuring highly addictive gameplay, players are placed in a world where the three-dimensional skateboard movements are fit for the taking, with breathtaking stunts and tricks performed. There are multiple modes in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, ranging from career mode, where the player has to move up the ranks, to free play and multiplayer modes, where winning through showcasing skills is the way to go. Not many sport games offer such diverse entertainment and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 still remains very sought after even more than two decades later. And so there you pretty much have it, those were the top 10 best games to have ever been released for the PS1 according to Metacritic. So what did you think of this top 10 list? Do you agree? Or perhaps that you think that there were some PS1 games not included in this list that should have been included? If so, do let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, I would love to hear it. And of course not forgetting that if you do like this type of content and you would like to see some more top 10 videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course like this video. I'll also leave some more videos at the end of this video if you would like to check them out. Thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you all next time.